Thank you. <laughs> I never really expected to find myself giving advice to people graduating from an establishment of higher education. I never graduated from any such establishment. I never even started at one. I escaped from school as soon as I could when the prospect of four more years of enforced learning before I could become the writer I wanted to be seemed stifling. I got out into the world, I wrote, and I became a better writer the more I wrote, and I wrote some more, and nobody ever seemed to mind that I was making it all up as I went along. They just read what I wrote, and they paid me for it, or they didn't. <laughs> and often they commissioned me to write something else for them, which has left me with a healthy respect and fondness for higher education that those of my friends and family who attended universities were cured of long ago. Looking back, I've had a remarkable ride. I'm not sure I can call it a career, because a career implies that I had some kind of career plan, and I never did. The nearest thing I had was a list I made when I was about 15 of everything I wanted to do. I wanted to write an adult novel, a children's book, a comic, a movie, record an audio book, write an episode of Doctor Who, and so on. I didn't have a career, I just did the next thing on the list. So I thought I'd tell you everything I wish I'd known starting out, and a few things that looking back on it, I suppose I did know, and that I'd also give you the best piece of advice I'd ever got, which I completely failed to follow. <laughs> First of all, when you start out on a career in the arts, you have no idea what you're doing. This is great. People who know what they're doing know the rules and they know what is possible and what is impossible. You do not and you should not. The rules on what is possible and impossible in the arts were made by people who had not tested the bounds of the possible by going beyond them. And you can. If you don't know it's impossible, it's easier to do. And because nobody's done it before, they haven't made up rules to stop anyone doing that particular thing again. Secondly, if you have an idea of what you want to make, what you were put here to do, then just go and do that. And that's much harder than it sounds, and sometimes in the end so much easier than you might imagine. Because normally there are things you have to do before you can get to the place you want to be. I wanted to write comics and novels and stories and films, so I became a journalist because journalists are allowed to ask questions and to simply go and find out how the world works. And besides, to do those things, I needed to write, and to write well. And I was being paid to learn how to write economically, crisply, sometimes under adverse conditions, and on deadline. Sometimes the way to do what you hope to do will be clear-cut. And sometimes it'll be almost impossible to decide whether or not you're doing the correct thing, because you'll have to balance your goals and hopes with feeding yourself, paying debts, finding work, settling for what you can get. What is the best piece of advice I was ever given? And I realized that it was actually a piece of advice that I had failed to follow. And it came from Stephen King. It was 20 years ago at the height of the success, the initial success of Sandman, the comic I was writing. I was, oh, thank you. I was writing a comic people loved and they were taking it seriously. And Stephen King liked Sandman and my novel with Terry Pratchett, Good Omens, and he, he saw the madness that was going on, the long signing lines, all of that stuff. And his advice to me was this. He said, this is really great. You should, you should enjoy it. And I didn't. Best advice I ever got that I ignored. Instead, I worried about it. I worried about the next deadline, the next idea, the next story. There wasn't a moment for the next 14 or 15 years that I wasn't writing something in my head or wondering about it. And I didn't stop and look, and look around and go, this is really fun. I wish I'd enjoyed it more. It's been an amazing ride, but there were parts of the ride I missed because I was too worried about things going wrong, about what came next to enjoy the bit that I was on. 
That was the hardest lesson for me, I think, to let go and enjoy the ride. Because the ride takes you to some remarkable and unexpected places. And here on this platform, today for me, is one of those places. And I am enjoying myself immensely. <laughs>